Hi, uh, this is Jared, and today is uh, June 1st. Uh, this just came out. It's uh, Geometry Dash Sandbox. I'm gonna put a video. I'm gonna put a link in the description for the person that made this. Like, big shout out to them. They made like, bit like based on the videos, they made like an amazing thing. So uh, yeah, let's get into this. Do not have any created worlds. New world, I'm gonna call it best. Like, Cause that is, okay, good world name. Uh, no, 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 ah. My, my icon is it anywhere you hear. Oh, yes, amazing. I'll take that. Yes. Okay, I'll take, um, I'll take that one. Yes, I love that my character's here. World created. Nice. What? Yeah. So, this is basically a sandbox game where you go around and you, uh, get crystals and you unlock things and it's, like, nice that way. And I'm gonna try it out for the first time. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna... No, why? Why is that happening? A, space, fly. I am not hurt now. Alright, so we just spawned in this world, and the first thing I'm gonna do is dig. Because I can. I'm gonna go this way in the hopes of finding a biome. There's multiple biomes where you can get multiple biomes with, like with tools and like things that make your life generally easier and uh ow no oh this is this guy's gonna come after me i can't destroy him um oh i can't delete that okay let's uh go over here this is how you play the game you get surrounded by literally everything in the world i died that's incredible i died like immediately gonna get down here Oh, I can't destroy the spikes, I forgot. Well, that's incredible, I could just build over it. That works. But what doesn't work is these gear things, I hate them. So, how many crystals do we have? 13. So, um... I think the hammer comes from... 20, right? 24. I think 20 is like something else. Anyways, we need to get more crystals. Oh, we can also go to this crystal area if we want to. Oh, those are like way faster. Oh, I can't destroy these. For fun, let's go listen. I hate that. Real quick, as we're waiting for those to re those things to regenerate, we gotta make a mine. Um, it looks like we can't do anything right now. We can't mine that. Now these crystals should be like somewhat regenerated. I like the jumpers, like like one of the songs. Like, oh, you have like the complex, thought-out ones like this, and then you have jumper that's like amazing i don't like the fact that you have to like wait for them to regenerate like you can't just do it like oh there's one over here get it and then wait for a few more seconds to get more oh there we go there we go now i'm pretty sure we can get that All right now i believe we can mine this so now we can mine underground and get these ones. Oh, we can also start like a crystal farm. This will guarantee that I get a lot of crystals because there's a lot of spawning area and stuff. Ah, uh, so I think this is a good design for like getting a bunch of crystals. Just make a whole bunch of spawning area for it because apparently, as long as you have like these blocks, then th there will be crystals that spawn on top of it. Which is really useful. In our inventory, we gotta replace some of the stuff. 
Wait, can I just drink this any time? Oh, now let's just build over every- Oh wait, I can do this, I forgot. That'll be- that'll come in very useful. This really- this really seems like Minecraft in a way, but like- Like- like Minecraft and Terraria, but mostly Terraria. Like, this seems like Terraria, kind of. Because there's different, like, backgrounds, as you can see. Like, oh, let's go around, and let's go mine down for, oh, that sweet sleep, whatever, like, gold, iron, you find that stuff, except it's crystals in this game. And then, like, there's also the fact that, like, the background changes as you go to different biomes, which is very nice. But also the fact that it's, like, 2D and stuff. Like, it's very similar to Terraria. Go over here, dig down, and repeat until we have like all the diamonds. You just dig and dig and dig and then all these crystals show up. Wait, I want to try something in a moment. Like, like, can I just like place these blocks anywhere and then they'll just spawn crystals? But, oh, that doesn't hurt me anymore? Oh, that's sad. Does this still hurt me? Oh. I think it's just, ah, oh, oh, it's a resistance potion I drank, uh, well, I gotta go kill myself so I know where spawn is. I bet that I'm the first person in the world to suicide on this game. Alright, well, I have finished the house of my dreams, because why not? I'm not actually doing things correctly. So, uh, here's the kitchen, like this one tabletop thing. And, uh, yeah, you have to jump over it to get by. Here's my, uh, food table that's just producing crystals for me to devour and turn into things. Because that's how the- that's how things work. Uh, up here is my sleeping space. I don't know why you're watching me sleep, but okay. And it's also kind of weird that I sleep with my eyes open. But, uh, yeah, we'll ignore that for now. Let's, uh, get up. Get up! Uh, we have to stand here and hope that you can jump in. And then here is our toilet area, because why not? Then let's get down our mundane stairs. And you have to like go up from the kitchen table and then you have to get up the tower thing that I have. Like this is a tower. Then you go through this incredible, amazing parkour. And this is going to be where our farms are once I have more resources. Yes, resistance potions are the best. Like, first thing you- like, after hammers, it's like the first thing you should focus on. I like the music. It's, it's a good- it's good choices of music. Gotta say. And again, like, this reminds me of- Oh, look, we hit the edge of the map. That's nice. Anyways, this seems a lot like Terraria in so many respects. Which I absolutely enjoy. Like, that's nice that we finally have something to combat Terraria since, like, you know, like, Terraria is now. Like, there's no more updates going to it, which is, like, such a shame, really. Like, I just love the fact that I can just play as my person from the regular geometry dash so let's just mine all of this and make the next farm it would be great if you could have like chests in this game you know in the video to the guy it took like five minutes to explain the whole premise of the game yet here it takes like five hours now i'm off to make the fourth farm and then it's gonna be going to lava, and then there will be grinding time. So now we can craft the wrench. Wrench crafted! And now I can paint things. Well, that is amazing. I am now going to use that. This is gonna be so amazingly good. I mean bad. Like, I meant bad the whole time. Wait, you can color anything you want? All red. Whew, alright, I am done painting these because like like 
We got the green rocks. We got the blue ice because ice is completely normal. Nothing to see here. Uh, there's the purple poison and the blue cri the blue shadows. I really like this. It is amazing. You know. Now let's head off into basically hell. Right, now will you let me mine this? Yay! We can mine it and more. So we need to make sure that most of these uh, blocks are exposed so they can start spawning crystals. Just gonna listen to this music and find some crystals. Ooh, I can actually get in. Now we take as many crystals as we can. Nice hack is that if you destroy the block that the crystals are connected to, then everything just falls. Which is really handy. We now have the, like, almost the max potion. Now let's get out of here. Ah, uh, look at that table. Just with the rock thing, like, it's been there forever. We finally have something useful that's not rock. You know, like, you know that feeling? I am now Power Man. I am kitted out with amazing tools that help me get my way through life. This is something I would expect GD Cola to do, maybe, but it's kind of incredible what has happened. Like, you have all these biomes that we go to and die multiple times. We have, like, the potentiality to get, like, all these different orbs and all this stuff that's, like, amazing to, go to do. It's, like, so incredible. Anyways, I'm going to do some grinding with crystals so that I can get what I need. So, uh, be right back. We now have enough to get a hammer, the rainbow one, the best one. I'm also going to get the best potion, and uh, not quite there at the uh, unlimited player speed, but I am going to grind for a little while longer and see if I can also get this. I am now doing it. Infinity speed! So let's hold all this. And now we go infinitely fast. Which is perfectly fine in my opinion. Wait, can I just... Can I just infinitely fly while spinning? I can! Alright, so I have made something all the way across the map. Would you like to see? Because, uh, yeah, it's so fast, the game can't load it properly. So then, like, I can just go all the way across the map in a few seconds, which I really love. But, uh, yeah, I think it's about time that we, uh, you know, finish the game and all. Like, like, 
Like, we could take 94%, or we can actually go all the way and finish the game, because to finish the game is like, it's super simple, but I haven't really gotten around to it. But we are now ending everything as we know it. Go around the buttons. Yay! I have done it. Anyways, uh, we gotta support some people here. Gotta credit Rob Top for making the original Geometry Dash, where I do videos anyways. So, yeah, he exists. There's also the person that made it, Macropixel, link in the description. Amazing! Like, they made this whole game in six months. And then we have, like, Rob Top. He's doing, like, pretty much the same thing. It's already been three years. Like, kudos to you, buddy. Now, then there's Water Flame, which is, like, Surface Track and Poison Track. And then we have Hink Kick, the person that made Time Leaper. Thank you for the fire. Really, thank you for the fire. Lock-in, I don't really know how I can really compare it, but it's like, Lock-in is a person, also. They made the ice track, Could, like, thank you very much. Creo, sh the shadow track, very thank you. Struler, the lava track, uh, it's incredible, the armored god, I like that song. And then, the ending track by Infinity, oh! Okay, Geometry Box, to oh, GD Colon actually had something to do with it. And Caden is on coffee, su coffee supply, so let's ignore his existence for a second. Thank, thank you to Rob Top, Macro Pixel, Water Flame, Hink Kick, Lockin, Creo, Extruler, Infinity, Colon, and Caden. Because yeah, if you want to go on my world, uh, there is the seed or whatever. And yeah, this has been Geometry Box. And, uh, yeah, I'm also going to, I'm also, yeah, there's going to be a way to download this on the specific video that I'm also going to put in the description. Like, he, he gives instructions on how to do it, and it is amazing. Warning, though, like, if you do Mac, you're probably not going to be able to do this because EXE files and such. So, yeah, good luck, and, uh, hmm don't know what else to say other than I can come back to this place anytime I want I can just keep playing and uh, macro pixel please I thank you for making this and I really hope you do updates for this in the future like I uh, would I would be like the first in line to create an update video because look at this place it's so amazing and there's also like the fact that we can do so many things like we're a hundred percent but there's not really much else we can do like like I want there to be something in this game that you can still do after you're done like that would be nice anyways I keep procrastinating the absolute end so uh goodbye then Goodbye! Good. Wait. I really love a lot more work to be done on it in the future. So, uh, yeah. Goodbye. We'll just stop with the jump. Like, jumpers in the background, and for the outro, it's like, eh, jumper. That's nice. So now you get to subscribe to the Macro Pixel guy, and you get to subscribe to me, and then, like, some other video, like, right there. And, uh, mm, yeah, outro time.